What's up tubers? I'm trying to make another video again. So this is the Motorola record player I've had since 2020 and I've been meaning to restore it. Just now getting around to starting on that. I did shoot a video on the solid state Magnavox one I have there too so I might just pair both of those videos together. But anyway this is probably from about 1958, 59, 60 I'm guessing somewhere in there. This player does appear on my channel in older videos. If you just look back to around 2020, you'll see it there along with that light blue capital one I acquired from Goodwill Auctions online. But anyway, this is also a vacuum tube based record player. It's hard to make all these tubes out on camera, but I believe some of them were EL84s and 12AX7s. So this is the amp housing part in the chassis. And there's a little diagram that's probably also hard to make out. But easy 81 6 ca 4 that might be a rectifier tube. Hill 84s and two 12AX7s. So now I also bought a little nut driver set to try to get this shielding cover off the amplifier chassis so we can try to get inside see what needs to be done as far as capacitors so I just ordered this little set but this is really nice it's like a tiny little ratchet wrench some nut drivers on here I think these are pretty standard sizes like Maybe a quarter of an inch. Look at how nice that is. That's so cool. Just came from Amazon, but I'm already impressed with how nice that is. Alright, so just for documentation's sake, this metal plate went on this way with those two screws on the right. So it was like that. That comes off. Got a third screw here and then three more on the other side. Alright, I believe I removed all six of the screws. So here's the amp. Nice copper, I think this is. So there we are. There's the point to point wiring. Really big giant filter can. And not really sure if there are even any other electrolytics apart from this inside here for how big this whole unit appears to be. So anyway, there's a lot of these ceramic disc capacitors, which I think are usually okay. They don't I don't think they're typically known for going bad, but these are still probably pretty old, so I don't know if I'm going to change those, but especially the electrolytics should be the first order of business. So, I'm just going to take a look at this up close off camera and see what I see and report back. Well, so far this doesn't look too terrible. There's just a little bracket at the bottom where this filter can just clips in. So that makes it easier to remove than the Magnavox units where it's soldered in vertically. These, this can houses four electrolytics. They're all 40 microfarad, 350 volts DC. Not sure where the date codes are on this thing. I mean, I see a bunch of different numbers and things on here, so could be possibly 1959. Hard to say. If anyone knows, let me know. Again, I have other videos of this on my channel from a couple of years back. But yeah, I think this is the only electrolytic in here. It's just four of these capacitors and then I need to just trace this out 
but other than that it's mostly just ceramic disc capacitors and these carbon film resistors or whatever kind of like the Allen Bradley style so I don't know if any of these resistors should be swapped out but I'm probably just gonna focus on the caps first and then the mechanical lubrication and cleaning and then maybe just start testing it from there let's take a look at this giant thing now got this from Goodwill a few months ago there's some crud on it I think that's just from the packing peanuts being wet but this is another Magnavox Micromatic the big trapezoid shaped one that's actually solid state with power transistors it's in really nice cosmetic shape I think the only aesthetic issue I see is with this badge on the front part of it's missing which is unfortunate but otherwise it looks really clean and nice I have this record on here because I was just testing this out when I first got it but I think one of the channels is dead or one of the speakers is dead so I still want to look through the amplifier and probably recap it let's see if we can take a peek in the amplifier here okay I've removed these four screws from the top wondering if the amplifier will be able to lift out of here oh there we go it's actually kind of small that's pretty cool there's actually a PCB in here believe it or not that's kinda neat wow that's literally a printed circuit board I wasn't expecting to see that at all inside this thing I was thinking it would still have point to point wiring despite being solid state that's actually pretty cool I wonder what year this thing was made so yeah this thing looks really nice it's hard to tell what the output transistors are in terms of the numbers not exactly sure but we've got these 200 microfarad coupling caps with axial leads probably have to replace those with 220s there's these two radio lead electrolytics here that are 250 microfarads so again I might have to use 220s for those um, and there's some other small ones here can't tell what those are just yet and then the filter can so that's a multi-section of course there's one hundred fifty sorry one thousand and five hundred I think there's only two capacitors inside this multi-section filter can they're just 1500 microfarads and only rated for 20 volts DC so just use a 1000 and probably a 470 in place of the 500 and these two small ones here and here are 25 microfarads so probably use 22s and that's pretty much it for this entire amplifier in terms of recapping and there's also some smaller transistors on the board kind of curious what these are I have to take a closer look but they've got little metal TO can bodies or whatever I don't know if these are gonna be silicon or germanium
Actually, I think I just discovered a date code, possibly, on this little sticker right there. It says 1164. So maybe it's late 1964. These are pretty nice. But the overall changer mechanism and other aesthetics lead me to believe it's from around that era. Because this whole tone arm and changer arm here resemble the console stereo from my grandparents' house, which was from 1963, I think it was made. That's pretty cool to find like a nice printed circuit board from almost 60 years ago. This memory card's giving me all kinds of problems, but anyway, I'm going to wrap the video up here. So also, if there's anything you viewers would like to see from my channel for future content, just leave a comment and let me know. I really need some ideas for future videos. So I appreciate everyone who's watched. So again, just like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already done so. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.